When you create a new guide, you don't have to start from scratch. LibGuides makes it easy to use existing content, from individual assets all the way to entire pages. All you have to do when adding new content is select Reuse Existing. You'll need to know the name of the guide and the piece you're looking for. When you choose to reuse, you have two options. You can map the item, which is the default, or you can copy the item by checking the Copy tick box. Mapping means the item in your guide is directly connected to the original. You won't be able to edit it, but changes made to the original will automatically be applied to the mapped version. On the other hand, copying creates a new asset or page in the LibGuide system. The connection between the original and the new copy is broken. You can edit the copy, but it will not be updated if the original changes. Remember that you are responsible for maintaining the items you create. We encourage you to map content whenever possible. If you are looking for something to reuse, check out the repository guide. This is where we keep the master copies of elements that are commonly used on UWM guides. When you map content from the LibGuides repository, you can be sure that the LibGuides administrators will make sure it stays up to date.